master your busker style chords with this beginner friendly rhythm routine. One, two, three, four. friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another beginner-friendly rhythm guitar tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be breaking down how to play busker style chord shapes. Now these are super beginner-friendly chords that allow you to play through various chord progressions while only having to move your first and second fingers. So this technique combined with a capo can allow you to simplify your favorite songs, but also fast track your entry into live performance and also group jam sessions. So we're going to get started learning each of these chords individually, and then we're going to tackle a full practice routine that kind of exemplifies many of the techniques that you'll see in typical pop songs. You can follow along using my PDF study guide at patreon.com slash swift lessons. Now let's get started. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning how to play these individual busker style chord shapes that are so popular in pop music and so very important for beginner guitar players who are anxious to start jamming with other people or even getting your first gigs. Okay, so the first chord that we're gonna learn is a G major chord shape. Okay, we've got the G note on the third fret of the low E string, that's your bass or your root. You've got the second fret of the A string, it's a B note. We're gonna have the open D string, open G string, the third fret of the B string, played with the ring finger there on the top, and then we're gonna have the pinky on the third fret of the high E string. All right, so that's another G note we have there on the high E string. Okay, so three, two, open, open, three, three. A G major chord. Okay, moving right along now, we're going to a chord that's usually played as a transition between this one chord, G major, and the chord E minor 7, which we'll learn in just a bit. It's going to be a G slash F sharp. So, if you have this G major chord, all you need to do is take the middle and the index finger off, grab the second fret of the low E string, an F sharp note, and then you have a G slash F sharp. Okay, this is played very often when you're separating the bass notes from the high notes. So there I'm just striking the low E string, stayed in my root note, and strumming through the chord. Okay, and doing the same exact thing with this G slash F sharp. Okay, so there is your walk down chord or your transition chord. Next, we're going to our destination. E minor seven. Okay, so notice how the ring finger and the pinky stayed put there. That's the beauty of these busker style chord shapes. You can play through thousands of different songs, common chord progressions, all while only moving the middle and the index finger, leaving these ring finger and pinky in place. That's what makes it so beginner friendly. Okay, so the G chord, the G slash F sharp, now to make it to the E minor 7 chord, we just need to take the index finger and middle finger, put them together, we're going to grab the 2nd fret A string and the 2nd fret of the D string. Okay, so we have a B note, and we also have another E right here, which will match the note that we have in the bass. Really beautiful chord. You can hear this in so many different songs. One that comes to mind would be um, uh, Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. Okay, so now we have three busker style chord shapes that you can start playing with. The G major, the G slash F sharp, and an E minor seven chord. Okay, once again, we leave the ring finger and the pinky down, transition now to a chord that we will call the four chord in this key of G. Okay, so if I play my G major scale, do, re, mi, fa, I find myself on a C note, and that's going to be our next chord, a C add nine chord. Another really beautiful melodic sounding chord. Okay, so we have the third fret of the A string, that's C, your root. We've got the second fret of the D string, again, that's E. We have the open G string. 
then obviously we're gonna keep that third fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string. All right, to create a C add nine. Okay, you add that into the mix and we have the G chord. We have the G slash F sharp, the transition chord. It takes you down to the E minor seven chord. All right, then we have the four chord in the key of G, C add nine. All right, next, we're going to have another transition chord. One that takes you down to an A7 sus4, and occasionally an A minor7 too in this key. Okay, so coming from that C add 9 chord, we're going to be moving to a chord called G slash B, or a G chord with a B in the bass. All right, so remove the middle finger and the index finger, grab the second fret of the A string, there's your B note. Strum from the D string down, again, leaving the ring finger and the pinky in place. All right, for a G slash B chord. Okay, so now we have the G, walking down to the E minor seven, going to the four chords, C add nine, walking down. All right, that gets us to our second from last chord shape that we're gonna learn for today, the A7 sus four chord. From the G slash B, all you need to do is take the index finger down to the D string second fret. Okay, this chord has the open A string, again, second fret of the D, open G, and then that third fret B, third fret high E string. All of these chords sound so big. All right, so strumming from the A string all the way to the high E string. Okay, now, just one last chord to learn. It's going to be a variation of the D major chord. Okay, if you're coming from the A7 sus4 chord, all you need to do is move the index finger to the G string second fret. All right, and then you're just gonna strum from the D string to the high E string. A D sus4 chord. Okay, so open D, second fret G, third fret B, third fret high E string. All right, now that sums up all of the busker's chords you need to learn, and that'll allow you to play thousands of different songs and also simplify some of those songs that you learn. The G chord, the G slash F sharp, the E minor seven, the C add nine, the G slash B, the A seven sus four, and the D sus4, which you can always substitute out for, or play in conjunction with the D major chord. Okay, very good everybody. You just learned some very powerful, very useful chord shapes. Now for section two, we're gonna put them to work and we're gonna add in a little bit of rhythm for a full practice routine for you to practice over the course of the week. Okay, so getting started with line number one of our tablature. I'm gonna put that up on the screen, but keep in mind you can join me at patreon.com slash swiftlessons and download and print my PDF study guide. Okay, line number one of your tab is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, and. I'll get you to the C add nine chord. Okay, so what we did there was applied a very basic strumming pattern. In its most basic form, it's just down, 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 up, down, up. Mixing together quarter notes and eighth notes. If you count it, it's one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, and if you're looking at that tab, one of the things I like to do is play just the bass note on beat number one of the measure. Bass, down, down, up, down, up. And then my strums are going to focus more on the high strings. I want to give it a little bit of a swing. Okay, so that's what you're hearing in measure number one of this routine. So bass, down, down, up, down, up. All right, then in measure two, this is a great way to execute a walk down, okay, going from this G chord down to the E minor seven. Bass down up, transition to the G slash F sharp, bass down up, 
All right, then apply the exact same strumming pattern that we had for the G chord to the E minor seven chord in measure number three of this routine. Okay, that's three measures of music right there. Bass, down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, down, up, down, up. All right, then finishing up, we're gonna add in a very cool, very useful, and common transition from this E minor seven chord to a C add nine. All right, and this is something that you'll hear in a Beatles song called I've Just Seen a Face. Very simple, just grabbing the second fret of the D string. All right, that's inside the E minor seven chord shape. We're following that up with a downstroke and an upstroke. Primarily on the G string, B string, and high E strings. All right, then remove the middle finger. Open D string, followed by down up. Put that together and we've got one, two, and three, four, and. All right, then from there, it's very easy to get to line number two of our tab and the C add nine chord shape. Okay, so all of line number one, you have the G chord. Bass, down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, F sharp, down, up, E minor seven, down, up, down, up, two, down, up, zero, down, up. All right, then that'll get you to the C add nine chord. Now we're jumping into line number two of our tab. Starting with that C add nine chord. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so the C add nine chord got the same exact strumming pattern that we were using before. This time your bass note is on the A string, third fret. So this is a really good exercise for developing your picking accuracy. So bass, down, down, up, down, up. All right, then a walk-in transition to the A7 sus4 chord. Bass, down, up. Grab yourself the G slash B. Remember, remove the middle and index finger. Grab the second fret of the A string, that B note. Bass, down, up. That's your first two measures of music there. The C add nine. Bass, down, down, up, down, up. Bass, down, up. The G slash B. Bass, down, up. All right, we're gonna drop our index finger down to the D string second fret. We're on the A7 sus4 chord. We're going to play bass, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, by now you should be getting pretty good with that pattern. All right, and then finally, to finish up the entire routine, just repeat the exact same strumming pattern on the D sus4 chord. Drop the index finger down to the G string, strike the D string open, bass, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, put all of line number two together, and we have C add nine, bass, down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, A7. Right, we combine uh, line one of our tab with line two. We have our full routine to practice throughout the week. All right, getting started with the G major chord, it should sound like this at a slow tempo. One, two, three, and four, and G. Down, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, F sharp, down, up, E minor seven. speed it should sound like this Oscar's routine for your week of practice. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this beginner-friendly guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. 
As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys. I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.